Hey everyone, this is uh, Matthew Paulson with uh, MarketBeat here. And today I'm going to walk you through my MarketBeat, which is our portfolio monitoring tool and that you can use to keep track of and follow your stocks. Uh, so this is the main My Market Beat page. It will show me all of the watch lists that I've created. Um, so I've got one for technology, I've got one for banks, I've got one for energy, uh, and I've got one for retailers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trash the retailers one, uh, just so I can show you guys how to uh, make a new watch list. So I'm going to click the Create a New Watch List button. I'm going to give it a name of Retailers New. I'm going to click the button. Wait just a minute, and then if I scroll down, it will show me an empty, um, empty watch list right there. Let's say I want to add a couple of uh, retailers. I'm going to add Target, and I'm going to add uh, uh, Walmart, and then we'll add, I think, Jamie is GameStop. So we'll try to add those. Uh, hopefully, I'm right. And then the email alerts button. Um, if you check this, we'll send you an email alert whenever there is something like an analyst ratings change, a dividend announcement, a company announces their earnings, the CEO buys or sells company stock, a major news headline, anything like that. Um, so here we see the new, um, uh, we see the new uh, watch list that I made. We've got our stocks in it. Now I am going to uh, fill out some more information. Um, so you, you can track your uh, performance for your portfolio by uh, typing in um, your number of shares that you own and then what you paid for them. So I'm just going to add some sample data uh, right here. So I'll say I own 100 shares of GameStop. And we'll say I own 100 shares of Target. And we're just making up numbers here. And we will say that I own 100 shares of Walmart. And there are some options here. Um, you can specify if you want email alerts. You can specify whether you want uh, alerts over SMS. You need to, do need to have your phone number typed in your account settings page for this option to show up and then you can specify if you want um, news for that stock in your newsletter as well. I'm going to click update stock and now I should see um, all of the different uh, here, um, you know, the holdings value that I just entered uh, for my stocks. So for each watch list here uh, we've got a lot of different information uh, obviously the name of the company uh, this also works for ETFs by the way you can type in pretty much any ETF and you should be able to add those as well uh, you can see what it's trading at right now, how it's done today. Uh, you can see what my overall portfolio value is. Again, these are just made up numbers. Uh, apparently, I've done out Apple for a really long time because it says my ROI is 93%. It'll show you your PE ratio. And then it will show you your uh, the beta for your portfolio, so the measure of risk and volatility. If your uh, stock pays dividend, it'll show you the dividend yield and the annual dividend payment. It will show you the market beat consensus rating and consensus rating score. Um, obviously, the higher the better. And then it will show you um, what analysts are setting for kind of a consensus price target. So this is just an average of all of the price targets set by different south side analysts. And then what kind of upside. Um, say the analysts are right, then there's 7% upside from the current price um, right there. Uh, so that's kind of the main kind of uh, prices page or tab. And then we've got several other different tabs that I'm going to show you here. Uh, this is the My Statistics uh, tab, and it kind of shows you different information um, about your holding. So it'll show you what sector your companies are in, and it will. Um, you know, we see we've got a lot of money in retail and technology here. Um, it'll show you which of your largest, which of your holdings are the largest. So we've got a lot of money in Amazon, Amazon, and Alphabet in this uh, sample portfolio. It'll show you what your cost basis for your companies are as well as what the value of your current holdings are and then your ROI. It'll show you your biggest winners and then which companies haven't done so well for you. It'll show you your portfolio's P ratio where kind of off the map here. And then the average uh, market user has a P ratio of, of 17. It'll show you the stocks that have the highest P ratios. Amazon's obviously way up there. And GameStop is more of a value stock um, right now, um, P ratio 4, so investors are not super optimistic about that, so I can kind of see both end to ends of the spectrum on my portfolio. I've got beta again here, so we can see my average uh, beta is 1.27, the average market beat user is 1.14, um, so obviously the higher higher the beta, the more risky my portfolio is relative to the S&P 500, then if I was below 1, it would be um, less risky or volatile relative to the S&P 500. So you can see which stocks have the most volatility and which have the least. 
and if you are, have dividend paying stocks, it will show you what your blended dividend yield is for all of your companies. And then what you will receive in dividend payments each year, as well as your uh, top yielding um, dividend stocks, and then when you are going to receive upcoming dividend payments here. You also see this export from portfolio button on the bottom that shows up on every, every tab. But if you want to just export your pricing data to Microsoft Excel, you can uh, press that button and it will give you a CSV file here um, that you can use in Microsoft Excel with a lot of the same types of information. We're going to move over here to the headlines tab. Um, so MarketBeat will index uh, pretty much every major financial news site and then we'll uh, tag articles by stock ticker. And then on the headlines tab, we filter them out so we only have news about your stocks here. So, you know, I follow Apple and Microsoft and Target, so we see uh, some different news stories about these stocks. A lot of news for Apple right now because people like to talk about it and they just had their worldwide developer conference. And then Microsoft, as I'm recording this, they just hired GitHub. Um, so there's some news about that as well. So it's pretty much all the stories for today. There's obviously you know quite a few because we've got lots of companies in our portfolio, but you can kind of scan through that. And if you want to see what's going on with your companies, that's an easy way to do it. Got a calendar here, so if you want to see when dividend payments are happening, earnings announcements are happening, you can do that uh, pretty easily. And if the company, one of any of these companies were going to have stock split, that would show up here as well. Um, you can view recent uh, analyst recommendations for your stock. Um, so uh, Goldman Sachs just uh, updated their price targets on Apple and Microsoft, so you kind of see that as I recorded this. Uh, we also see our broker trading, so um, you know, five is the best. Uh, one, I think half is the worst. Um, so certainly pay attention to the, the brokerages that have higher star ratings and, and less attention to the ones that have lower star ratings. So the way we calculate star ratings is based off the performance of their past recommendations. So Goldman Sachs says Apple is going to be worth $200 a year from now. If they're right, you know that will help their score. If they're way off, that will hurt their score. So that's uh, kind of a weighted thing. The most accurate uh, brokers will have a five star rating and then it'll go down half a star down to one star. Uh, I can see recent insider trades for my stocks. Um, some insider selling at Netflix. Not a whole lot of money, but interesting nonetheless. And then if I want to see the details, I can click this button and see the actual SEC filing um, over on the SEC website. Um, so if you want to, if you know, insider buying or selling is, is uh, something you look at, you can check that out with this tab. Uh, you can view re recent earnings announcements for your stocks. So if, uh, whenever they announce earnings, like looks like GameStop just announced their earnings a few days ago. Um, looks like they beat their consensus analyst estimate by a penny. Good for them. And then their revenue was a bit above the estimate as well. Um, in you know June, there's probably not going to be all that many um, earnings announcements. But the middle of April, a kind of peak of earnings season, you know, you can see there's one just about every day. So this is kind of a neat way to just see, you know if any of your companies have announced earnings recently and how they did. Uh, you can view recent SEC filings. Um, this is going to be kind of a flood of data, especially with financials, um, because you know banks file so many different forms. But if you want to add a little bit of filtering here, I'm going to click through on Wells Fargo. And then this is the company profile page that we have set up for them. There's a tab here that says SEC filings. So if I only want to see Wells Fargo, say their 10K form, I can uh, pick that out in the drop down and, and see that. Or if I only want to see, say, insider transactions, I can do uh, form four and then it will show those as well. Um, so if you kind of need to dig through a company's SEC filings, this is a neat way to do it. If you want to exclude insider buying and selling, you can um, uh, drop those out and see their actual uh, different filing types. And then uh, for some filings, we'll, uh, we'll even explain. Um, what the different form is for um, as well. Let's go back to my market beat. Uh, we just looked at SEC filings. Now we're going to look at the social media stuff. Um, uh, these are recent social media mentions from StockTwits. Uh, uh, we use their widget and we uh, go show you different store, um, what different people are saying about these stocks. And I probably don't put a whole lot of stock into these, but it's very interesting to see what people are saying about the, the companies you know, that you, you own. Uh, if you want to see your newsletter, there's a My Newsletter tab here. Uh, but you can also just click this uh, My Newsletter link up here in the navigation. So here's a copy of my issue of MarketBeat Daily Premium. And then here is 
uh, my, my technology watch list that you saw, uh, different um, news items for Apple and then Amazon. These are all my watch list stocks. So you can get kind of the same types of stories emailed to you through Market Be Daily Premium as well. So here's my banks that I had, and uh, this is the retailers' watch list that we just made. It's got the news for GameStop, um, Target, Walmart, all that, uh, all those companies. Uh, we do have some other newsletters that you can look in here. Uh, we have an insider trades newsletter. You want to see all the insider buying and selling activity that's happening. Uh, dividend advisor. We have a dividend newsletter with uh, ex dividend dates, dividend announcements, dividend stock ideas. You can check that out. And then we have a cryptocurrency newsletter. Uh, you can monitor your uh, cryptocurrency uh, prices. Um, this is was my por my crypto portfolio at one point. I need to update that. And then we have the latest uh, crypto news here as well. Um, so that's kind of my market beat. Uh, the one other thing I want to show you uh, while we're here is I want to kind of take a little bit of a dive into the um, company profile pages. Um, if you're researching a stock or you've got a stock on your watch list and you just want to know everything there is to know about that stock, um, use the search box and then type in a company. Uh, and you're already on Apple, but if you just search for it, you would land back at this page. So we've got a big description of everything the company does. Uh, we've got lots of information, some key ratios about uh, profitability, um, revenue, sales, all that good stuff. Uh, the P ratio, what their debt to equity ratios are, a whole bunch of FAQ uh, questions about the stock. So you can kind of read through this. Um, you can learn about um, when Apple did their buyback, what their dividend is, um, how they're doing, how their earnings are, when earnings are coming up, what different analysts are saying about them. Short interest, you can see that. Who are some of the company's competitors? Their executive, what is the new sentiment like? Um, who are some of the biggest shareholders? Um, you know, who's buying stock, who's selling stock in terms of uh, hedge funds and institutional investors? Uh, lots of good stuff here. Let's go back up to the top. I'm going to click the financials tab. We have a balance sheet, an income statement, and a cash flow statement. Uh, you can break it down by year or quarter. Um, here is the income statement. Partner with a company called Tagnify for this. Um, they do a really good job putting these together, and we include them on our company profile pages. So we can see how their balance sheet has changed over time. Cash flow ch statement has changed over time. Uh, you can really uh, dive deep into the numbers here. Uh, we have analyst recommendations. Uh, we probably have the most comprehensive source of analyst recommendations on the web. Um, so here. Um, you can see, um, you know, Apple's got a rating of buy, what their consensus price target is, what their breakdown of ratings is. Um, now you can see how their consensus price target has changed over time, and compared to their stock price, so if there's a bigger gap between the consensus price target and the share price, analysts are becoming more bu more bullish, and if that gap narrows, they're becoming less bullish. Now you can see different um, ratings um, that the company has received here. Uh, you can view information about the dividend. Uh, you can see how their dividend has changed over time, uh, what the annual dividend yield is, um, when the most recent dividend was. Um, you can see how fast their dividend is growing. You can see a variety of different payout ratios. That, you know, most dividend investors like to see a payout ratio based on cash flow, so we calculate that there. Uh, we can see Apple has been growing their dividend for five years since they started their dividend in 2013 um, and then how often they pay a dividend as well as information uh, about each of their dividend payments since they uh, started their dividend in I think 2013. You can see um, earnings history so the, the solid blue ones are actual numbers and then the white ones are estimates of what analysts think are going to happen in the future. Um, you can see the consensus estimates uh, for each quarter coming up and then you can view the next earning date. Earning date for Apple is July 30th, and see that right there. And then see past uh, performance um, for each quarter. Um, you can get a conference call from Seeking Alpha. You can read the transcript there. Uh, you can see the actual release over at the Nasdaq website. So we have some helpful links for that. You can view recent insider trading activity. Um, so you can see totals by quarter. If there had been insider buying, um, that would show up here. And you can see um, kind of money flow in and out from hedge funds. Um, obviously, more money flowing in from hedge funds is a good sign. If you know there's a lot more outflow than info, that's a bad sign. And then you can see different insider buying and selling transactions for a stock here. 
uh, headlines. You can see headlines for a stock. You can uh, filter this out. So you can say, I only want to see headlines from MarketBeat. You can do that. Or say, you really like Bloomberg or The Street or Yahoo Finance. You could do that as well. Uh, you could limit it to a few trusted sources um, that we like. Or you can just have kind of the full fire hose and show off everything. Uh, SEC filings, we already looked at this, um, but it will show you companies' different SEC filings. And then we have stock twits again. It will show you mentions on stock twits for that stock. And then we've got some really great charting here uh, from Trading View. Um, you can do a lot of different stuff with this. You can um, can see you can break it down by month. So here's you know 12 years of prices, um, even down to a minute. So like what's happened this afternoon. So you can um, really look at any period that you want. Uh, we'll do it for. See, this looks like maybe the last month. Um, you can see different types of presentations. You can do candles. You can do bars. You can do kind of. Um, you know, really anything you want to. If you just want to see a simple line graph, you can do that. Um, you know, I'm kind of a fan of, of candles myself, uh, so that's typically how I leave it. And then, um, if you want to compare Apple to another stock, you can click the, the scale button here, and we'll compare it to Microsoft. So we'll add that here. And then there is a Microsoft stock right next to Apple stock. So I'm going to close Microsoft out. And if you are into technicals. Um, you click this indicators button. It's it's very subtle, but it's very powerful. Um, can't we, really, you know, unless you know what it does, you're probably never going to use it. But say you want to see the 50-day moving average, uh, you can do that. So I just click that, and now um, we see the moving average has been added um, to the chart. Um, I uh, say so we're going to add Bollinger Bands. It'll show you kind of what that looks like um, as well. There's just a ton of different technical metrics, um, different oscillators, um, really anything that you want, volume. If you're a technical trader, you know what all this stuff is. You can pick out just about anything you want here thanks to the team over at TradingView. Um, if you want to make this full screen, uh, it probably won't show up on the, um, on the recording, but you can click this button. And you can also uh, take a snapshot. So if you wanted to share this on Twitter or something, you could do that. And then if you uh, like to draw in your charts, you know, there's lots of lots of tools for that. We can draw the lines. I'm kind of making a mess here. But you can do anything you want here. Very powerful charting. Uh, I think that's that's really about it for these company profiles and for my market beat. But hopefully this is one of many videos that come out. I'm just kind of how to use market beat uh, more in general and hopefully this will help you better make useful tools. So thank you for watching.